have here a 70 Marine Magnum short barrel shotgun. So this gun started its life as a Marine Magnum firearm, Tac-14. Uh, came with this little stupid Rapture grip from the factory, which does no good. Um, the, so the first thing I did was as soon as I got the shotgun, put on a set of Magpul SGA stock. Um, the forehand is actually from Magpul. Uh, it uh, also did a cheek riser so I can basically rest the gun comfortably on my shoulder as well as my cheek. Uh, but first thing I realized was I uh, came with the B-sides from the factory. The sights are with a cheek riser, you're not able to use the sights. Your, your, your face is going to be way above the uh, B-sides. So what I did was install a set of, a set of uh, gold string sights. These are made by uh, Wilson Combat. The front's got a tritium inserts in there. Glows nicely in the dark and the rear is just the normal gold string sights. I've been trying to locate the uh, Trigicon ones, but apparently um, all over Canada it's been sold out. Uh, but these do line up nicely. Uh, see if I can get you guys a nice little picture. Okay. And by the way, the guns are uh, have been checked. They're all clear. So uh, it's a little bit hard to see with the camera, but it's much easier to aim with this set of sights. Uh, second thing I did was Magpul SGA sling stock. The uh, sling, so you can, instead of having just a one point sling, you can have a single loop here, and then it can go around to the stock. So you can have a two point. And because how short this shotgun is, um, you can basically use it as an extension of your arm and uh, just carry it around with you when you are just hiking, walking around. Um, wouldn't be dragging it on the ground or anything like that. Okay, so the next upgrade I did was... See that little uh, enlarged safety? So from factory, the Marine Magnum came with the, just the factory standard size safety. Uh, it's kind of small. Even though it's nickel plated, it's very nice coating. I uh, decided that the uh, enlarged safety is worth the uh, upgrade just because how easy it is to actually take it off. Because when you have the finger right here, as soon as you bring the gun up, it's easy to disengage the safety and then just uh, get your finger right on the trigger. And uh, next, I did was see the extractor right here. Uh, from factory, came with the uh, machine injection molded MIM extractor. What I did was uh, I installed the uh, Volcorsen Exact Edge Extractor from Delasco Arms. And uh, by the way, these guys are phenomenal to deal with. They're based in Delta, British Columbia. They do all sorts of A70 upgrades. When you get a chance to, uh, I recommend you guys check it out. Uh, the last upgrade I did was, see the follower right here? It's made by SNJ Hardware. So from factory, it came with those little fuzzy looking orange follower, which I believe I, the first thing I did was toss it out into the trash. It, uh, it's basically a piece of garbage, so just I recommend you replace it as soon as you could. Now it's much smoother to, to load and unload. And uh, I haven't took it to the range yet, uh, but I imagine it will be a very fun shooter. And uh, stay tuned, I'll get you guys some uh, range videos in the future. Thank you guys, and uh, I'll get you guys one last look of how amazing this firearm is.